Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be looking at a proportion problem. We have a cubed plus 3ab squared divided by b cubed plus 3a squared b equals 63 over 62. And we're going to be finding the ratio a over b. I'll be presenting two methods. Let's start with the first one. For my first method, I'm going to be using a method called componendo dividendo. I think we, I also mentioned that in another problem, which wasn't actually the this method. But anyways, that's another story. So componendo dividendo works like this. If you have x over y equals z over w, that is kind of like a proportion, then we can safely say that x plus y over x minus y is going to be the same as z plus w over z minus w. So whatever you do on the left hand side, as long as you do it on the right hand side, then those two ratios are going to be equal. And this is easy to prove. You can just go ahead and set both of these ratios equal to a constant like k and then you can just plug it in and show this uh, how this works. All right, great. So let's go ahead and use it in our problem. We have a cubed plus 3ab squared divided by b cubed plus 3a squared b, and that is equal to 63 over 62. So in this case, the numerator is my x, sort of, and the denominator is my y, and I'm going to use this one. So I'm going to add the numerators, uh, the numerator and the denominator, so it's going to look like the following from here. a cubed plus 3ab squared plus b cubed plus 3a squared b. That is divided by the difference of the numerator and the denominator. So it's going to look like this. a cubed plus 3ab squared. And then I'm going to subtract from this the denominator, which is b cubed plus 3a squared b. Now notice that I added the numerators in the numerator of the new fraction. So I'm going to be doing the same thing here, but this time with 63 and 62. So the numerator is going to be 63 plus 62 and the denominator is just going to be 63 minus 62. Let me just go ahead and write it that way first, and then I'll obviously I'm going to simplify that. Now let's go ahead and focus on the left-hand side first. We should have a familiar expression, but let me go ahead and write it as a cubed plus 3a squared b plus 3ab squared plus b cubed. And the bottom, I'm just going to go ahead and arrange it and write it as a cubed minus 3a squared b plus 3ab squared minus b cubed. So the numerator and denominator are pretty similar. And here we get 125 over 1, which can be written as 125. Great. Now, what do we have in the numerator? What is What does that look like? Well, if you are familiar with the binomial theorem, especially for the case n equals 3, then you'll realize that the numerator is equal to a plus b quantity cubed. And the denominator is just a different version of that, uh, of the same thing. If you replace b with negative b, obviously the, the odd powers of b is going to become negative and you're going to get a minus b to the third power. And as we know, this equals 125. Awesome. Now, at this point, we can go ahead and cube root both sides, but let's go ahead and take advantage of a property of exponents. So, if you have something cubed divided by another thing cubed, like, you know, m cubed over n cubed, you can basically write it as m over n cubed, right? So, let's go ahead and do the same thing here, a plus b divided by a minus b to the third power equals 125. So, you're now thinking... What number to the third power equals 125? And that is answered by the cube root of 125, which happens to be 5. Because 5 times 5 times 5 is equal to 125. In other words, 5 to the third power is equal to 125. Therefore, the cube root of 125 is equal to 5. So if you go ahead and cube root both sides here, then we're going to get a plus b divided by a minus b equals 5. Now remember, our goal was to find or solve for a over b, and we can easily do that from here. If you go ahead and cross multiply, a plus b becomes 
5a minus 5b. Let's go ahead and bring the a over here to the right hand side. That gives, gives us 4a. Or I can just keep the b's and a's in wherever they are. So go ahead and add 5b. You're going to get 6b. Subtract a. You're going to get 4a. And now we can go ahead and find a over b from here. Divide by b and then divide by 4. You're going to get a over b equals 6 over 4, which can be written as 3 halves. Awesome. So that is the first method, componendo dividendo. Let's go ahead and take a look at the second method. My second method is a little different because we're going to be solving a cubic equation here, which is not very easy to do all the time. But anyways, since our ratio is 63 to 62, I can safely say that. So let me go ahead and copy that original problem here first before I proceed with the solution. So we're given this ratio or proportion. Now I can safely say that, hey, let the numerator be 63k and let the denominator be 62k. Why? Because the ratios uh, is always going to be 63 to 62. And obviously in this case, k should not equal zero, right? So in this case, I'm going to set the numerator equal to 63k and the denominator equal to 62k. At this point, we can just add and subtract and but it's just going to become the same thing. So let's go ahead and do something different. So that is um, the different method uh, that we're going to use here. Basically involves the following. Since this is a homogeneous equation, I'm going to go ahead and replace A with BU. Okay. So if you do that, you're going to get the following. B cubed U cubed plus 3B cubed U. That's going to be the numerator. And the bottom is just going to be B cubed plus... 3a squared b, which can be written as 3b cubed u squared. And obviously that is equal to 63 over 62. Awesome. Now let's go ahead and factor out the b cubed. That's going to give us u cubed plus 3u. And then b cubed. And the bottom we can do the same thing. 1 plus 3u squared. And that is equal to 63 over 62. Awesome. Now the b cubed cancels out leaving us with a cubic equation. After cross multiplication, we get the following. We get 62 u cubed minus, and let me just go ahead and give you the cubic here without further ado. It's gonna become, this is gonna become our cubic equation. Now, how do you solve this cubic equation? Well, you can kind of use um, the rational root theorem or you can kind of uh, use, you know, Tartaglia's formula, whatever you want to call it, the cubic formula. But let me again give you the solutions. We have a rational solution, which is 3 halves. So we can write this as 2u minus 3. 2u, that is the happy birthday song. 31u squared minus 48u plus 21. And the product is equal to 0. Obviously, this is not going to give us any real solutions, so we have to focus on this. Set the 2u minus 3 equal to 0, and you're going to get u equals 3 halves. And remember, 3 halves is the same as a over b, and if you go ahead and, um, well, you don't need to do anything because we were looking for a over b, and we got the answer, which is 3 halves. And this brings us to the end of this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment. Like and subscribe. I'll see you tomorrow with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.